Natural calamities are events caused by natural processes that can result in significant damage, destruction and loss of life. Let's explore more in detail in the different types of natural calamities. Earthquakes Earthquakes occur when there is a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust leading to seismic waves that shake the ground. They are primarily caused by the movement and collision of the tectonic plates. They can vary in magnitude from minor tremors to major quakes that can cause widespread devastation. The intensity of an earthquake is measured using the Richter scale. Earthquakes can trigger landslides, tsunamis and secondary effects such as infrastructure damage and loss of life. Volcanic eruptions Volcanic eruptions result from the release of molten rock, ash and gases from a volcano. They occur due to the movement of magma beneath the Earth's surface. Volcanoes can be active, dormant or extinct. During an eruption, volcanic materials are ejected into the atmosphere, causing ash clouds, procastolic foes, hot gases and debris, and lava flows. Volcanic eruptions can have both immediate and long-term effects on the environment, including air pollution, ash fall and the alteration of landscapes. Hurricanes, cyclones or typhoons these powerful tropical storms form over warm ocean waters. They are known as hurricanes in the Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, cyclones in the Indian Ocean, and typhoons in the Northwest Pacific. Hurricanes are characterized by intense winds rotating around a central eye, accompanied by heavy rainfall and storm surges. The Saphir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale characterizes hurricanes based on their sustained wind speeds. These storms can cause extensive damage to coastal areas including flooding, erosion, infrastructure, destruction and displacement of the populations. Tornadoes Tornadoes are violent rotating columns of air that extend from severe thunderstorms to the ground. They are characterized by their funnel-shaped cloud and can reach wind speeds of over 300 miles per hour. Tornadoes can cause severe destruction along their narrow paths, damaging or completely destroying structures, uprooting trees and posing significant risk to human life. The enhanced Fujita scale is used to measure tornado intensity based on the damage they cause. Floods Floods occur when there is an overflow of water onto normally dry land. They can result from heavy rainfall, rapid snowmelt, dam failures or a combination of these factors. Floods can cause extensive damage to infrastructure, homes, and agricultural lands. They also pose risk to human life and can lead to the spread of waterborne diseases. Floods can be localized or widespread, and their severity is determined by the factors such as the volume and the speed of water. Wildfires These are uncontrolled fires that spread rapidly through vegetation, including forests, grasslands, and shrublands. They are often fueled by dry conditions, high temperatures, and strong winds. Wildfires can be caused by natural factors such as lightning strikes or human activities like campfires or arson. These fires can result in the destruction of vast areas of land including wildlife habitats and have significant environmental, economic, and health impacts. Effective wildfire management and prevention strategies are essential to mitigate their effects. Droughts Droughts are prolonged periods of abnormally low precipitation, resulting in water scarcity. They can occur due to the lack of rainfall, increased evaporation, or changes in weather patterns. Droughts can have severe impact on agriculture, water resources, and ecosystems. They can lead to crop failures, water shortages, soil degradation, and increased risk of wildfires. Mitigation measures such as water conservation, drought-resistant crops, and efficient irrigation practices are crucial in managing drought conditions. Avalanches Avalanches are rapid flows of snow, ice, and debris down a mountainside. They can be triggered by factors such as heavy snowfall, snowpack, instability, or human activities like skiing or snowmobiling. Avalanches can be deadly, burying individuals and structures under massive amounts of snow. They pose risks to mountainous regions and those engaged in winter sports or residing in avalanche-prone areas. Landslides Landslides occur when masses of soil, rock and debris move downhill due to gravity. It can be triggered by rainfall, earthquakes, volcanic activities or human activities like deforestation or constructions.
Landslides can have significant impacts on communities including destruction of homes, infrastructure and transportation routes. They can also block rivers and cause flooding. Tsunamis Tsunamis are large ocean-like waves usually triggered by undersea earthquakes, volcanic eruptions or landslides. When these events occur beneath the ocean, they displace a massive amount of water, creating a series of powerful waves that travel across the ocean. When tsunamis approach the coastline, they can cause devastating damage including flooding, destruction of coastal structures and the loss of life. Understanding the different types of natural calamities is a crucial for preparedness, response and mitigation efforts. By implementing effective strategies, we can reduce the impact of these disasters and protect lives, property and ecosystems.